So one of the most prominent and exciting new features in the new Evo version 123 is the data channels. So traditionally there were video channels and then there was a possibility to overlay the received text from various data sources and overlay it and view it together with the video. But that's not quite convenient and hence we're introducing the data channels. So let's see what that is. Uh, a data channel is basically a representation uh, of the incoming textual data. So in case of um, stores, um, store chains, uh, we may be speaking mostly about um, the point of sale uh, systems, point of sale terminals, uh, but the data channels are not limited uh, to uh, this type of text only. So basically that's any type of incoming serial textual data that might be intercoms, uh, that might be barcode scanners, etc. So if we take a look at the data channel here, uh, we can see that it, it is conveniently paired uh, with relevant cameras. So the camera overlooking the cash register and the other camera um, in the same store and uh, also uh, maps for the live view as well. So the data stream is broken uh, into individual transactions, um, like individual checks um, on the paper. Uh, so what happens behind the scenes? Behind the scenes, uh, the textual data is written into a dedicated, uh, super optimized uh, type of database, uh, specifically optimized for uh, the textual data. And um, the administrator uh, has full control over the data. He maps uh, the incoming fields uh, onto the database structure um, to, uh, to shape uh, to shape the uh, data channel and uh, then it's also possible to record uh, one or more um, data channels into the same database for later convenient search and uh, by search uh, I mean uh, not just um, searching by keywords or just uh, playing back uh, whatever has been recorded uh, but uh, there is also a special investigation mode uh, for the databases uh, where we can run uh, simple and advanced queries, structured queries um, for the database. So for example, let me create uh, an, a sample query here. Uh, um, I will select all data channels from all stores uh, that are possibly here. And let's say I want to see the data for the last um, couple of hours and then I'm gonna save it and um, then uh, let me run a query so we have an operator there uh, named butter and I want to know if uh, if they sold butter today so what I do um, I enter one query parameter here and then I also have another query parameter here for the um, for this specific transaction item and I'm searching for butter, but I might be also searching for potatoes or something. And uh, there are also a couple of other settings here, uh, like uh, sorting order. And then let me just hit search and then I'm going to see that exact place uh, what it, when it happened. So the currently, um, the current uh, items are highlighted uh, with a frame. Uh, within the check and uh, and if I double click uh, the search result I'm gonna see the exact uh, transaction of uh, which I was looking for and yes uh, so uh, butter sold some butter today and uh, this is an example of a very simple query but you can also create much more complicated queries uh, using the conditions so the product might be butter or potatoes and or potatoes and you can create more and more um, more and more specific details uh, within the query by adding groups and conditions and using the logical operands uh, between them and of course there is also a possibility to save those queries 
So this one uh, was already pre-saved, so I don't want to spoil it, so I just hit reset. So that, and I go back to my uh, previous settings. And if I want to uh, save my current query, uh, then let me just recreate it. And then just click save here and save it as a new query. And all this stuff is saved as you close the application and reopen it again. So it's very convenient for the operators. So for example, the store managers uh, that would like to run some kind of reports at the end of the day, at the end of the week, they can create the list of queries they need and uh, then simply run uh, them by calling them uh, from this list uh, instead uh, of uh, recreating uh, the same query over and over again, because I understand it may be uh, a very uh, complex one uh, invol involving many uh, search parameters. So what happens behind the scenes? Behind the scenes for the administrator, uh, we have our traditional data sources, which were already present uh, in the um, previous EVO versions. Uh, on top of that, uh, so the data source or the data sources uh, that provide uh, EVO servers with text, um, they have special data source profiles. So in the profiles, uh, the administrator uh, shapes, uh, like I said, they shape this stream uh, by defining which uh, which parts of that text go to which uh, database part, and uh, they have full control over it using regular expressions, and they also define uh, the check structure by defining where where it begins, where each transaction begins, where it, uh, where the header. Uh, begins and ends and where individual transaction items uh, start and uh, then uh, on top of that like I said we build data channels on, on top of the existing data sources and um, this is the part that goes to the client application and uh, they are alike regular video channels so they have all the um, properties like recording profiles and recording destination and um, there is also special permission management uh, very detailed permission management so you can define that the operators can only have uh, access to the to the live view and uh, the store managers might have more uh, elevated permissions to uh, to run the queries into the database etc uh, and uh, the best part, the part that I love about it is that you can e export and import all the data here. So if we're uh, speaking about uh, a special um, brand of POS terminals, uh, it just means uh, that you can create, uh, your administrator can create the um, database structure and the database mappings for the keywords once and what they do for other customers with this or for other stores with the same um, post brand they simply import the same settings uh, which uh, significantly speeds up the configuration stage <laughs>